No, where's Hey there, David Gordon from Theater Media here. It is Thursday, November 19th. I'm here with Bill Brocktrup, uh, Artistic Director of the Antaeus Theater Company in Los Angeles. We are talking about the Zip Code Plays, a new series of uh, audio works that the theater created, and Bill's gonna tell us about it. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Tell me, so uh, for the people watching at home, what are the Zip Code Plays? Uh, well, it's a series of, um of six original uh, 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 original audio plays uh, written by members of our Playwrights Lab, exploring different regions of Los Angeles, different zip codes. That was a prompt that we gave to the writers, recorded by our actors, and uh, now a downloadable free as a podcast series um, wherever you get your podcast or at our website. Was this was this like a, a pandemic response, or was this a, like do you guys do this regularly, like create audio plays and podcasts? Oh, no, this is a definitely a pandemic response. Um, you know, we um, years ago we did a ten minute play festival with uh, our writers lab, and uh, the, there's a prompt usually for that, and we did one on zip codes, and that was years ago. But I kind of remembered it, and those are just ten minute plays, which you know are. Uh, as people know, or kind of can tend towards skittiness or, uh, you know, cute little things or it was awesome. But um, when we when we contemplated, like, what can we do with the shutdown, which originally, of course, like everyone, we thought would maybe go on for a couple of weeks or maybe a month and then yeah. longer and longer and longer. Um, we started thinking, what can we do uh, that would be analogous to the things that people in our, our, our constituency were interested in, which is uh, community. And we noticed that what people really were missing so much um, from the theater experience was the community and the coming together of people. So we thought about um, those zip codes as a way of exploring our own city and, and where we live. Uh, and then we also thought about the, honestly, the sort of Zoom fatigue that uh, a lot of us are experiencing. Of course. And there have been an awful lot of uh, Zoom readings and Zoom plays, and you know that's terrific, and uh, many of them are are great. But uh, we felt that the the podcast, the idea of listing something, and someone speaking in your ear and telling you a story right here, uh, really kind of went together with uh, our ethos, which is a small, intimate theater, and where you're this close to the actors in when you come see a show at Antius, but. Uh, this was a similar kind of feeling, like they're, they're right here with you. So we thought combining those two things together made a lot of sense. Were your uh, were your artists game for it? Yeah, I mean, obviously yeah. they were game for it, but tell me about the process of getting people involved. Uh, well, we we have a playwrights lab, which is a group of, of of playwrights who come together every every week and bring in pages, and then actors from our ensemble read the pages, and then a discussion ensues. Um, and that's been going on for, for quite a while. So we've got a good team of people there. So we put out a call for um, pitches for different zip codes and people pitched different zip codes to us and we chose six. Uh, the writers went away and wrote their scripts and they're um, up to uh, 30 minutes long. So, you know, uh, one acts, but, but gives you enough room to kind of really get into the topic. Um, we found directors, we got actors from our company to, to do them. We then, have an amazing, amazing audio producer and sound designer, Jeff Gardner, who has done most of our shows. Um, and he put together a package of microphones, cables, uh, uh, there's kind of a portable booth. It's like sticking your head in a styrofoam uh, you know, uh -huh. box kind of a thing. Uh, he put together a, um, a kit uh, that we, we've got uh, for each of the actors and um, he, he's brilliant because he also put together like a video of a very patient and kind instruction video on how to how to do this, how to plug in, the, how to download the software that's needed, uh, uh, you know, how to uh, just how to set everything up. I know because I was a guinea pig and I did it and I, I, I was able to do it. And, I was going to say you must have taught everybody how to build like a recording studio in their closet. Or something. He did. It's exactly what he did. Now, some people had that set up already, but some didn't. And uh, so he walked everybody through that. The actors re we delivered uh, everybody a kit. Um, they uh, they recorded uh, separately, 
and then Jeff magically uh, put it all together, along with doing Foley, you know, just like the sound effects and the people walking and things. And um, it sounds like they are in the same place. It's really amazing. Uh, it, so it is yeah, really never saw each other. So, you know, there was no and there was no um, there's no video or anything because the fee that they used is audio because you get a better quality. So uh, yeah. they never saw each other. Never. They never even it wasn't even acting like this. It was acting, you know, just like this. Um, but of course, a lot of actors have uh, have done audio plays or have some background in radio or um, something like that. But it was certainly a challenge uh, to get that all accomplished and logistically to get everybody on there. You know, for example, we we try to plan for every contingency of what could go wrong. And uh, one of the actors' house, the internet went out on the day of the recording with everybody else in their in their several places. So somehow Jeff figured out how to put a hotspot in their uh, house and. Uh, got it together and got it working. Um, so we tried to look, to do every every disaster contingency we could think of, but there's always something. That's the and theater, it, right? I know, and it, the product is so good. The product is so, and it's so thank interesting. You, thank you. Uh, I haven't listened to them all, but I've listened to, uh, I think three or four of them by now. Uh, uh, well, we're, we're, we're really thrilled with them because it gives just a, an interesting piece of Los Angeles. Whether you live here and you want to explore the city where you live or, you know, if you live in New York or you live in uh, wherever, uh, you can yeah. listen to these. And it's been a great way to kind of broaden our, uh, our our base of audience members. And also because it's free, you know, it tears down that barrier that uh, people can't afford to come to the theater. They, 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 uh, they don't want to come and park. All, all the different reasons that people don't come. But this allows us to really reach out to people who might not ever come to the theater uh, and maybe they'll be tempted in the future. I want to talk about uh, the theater and like, how is it dealing with, I know everybody is hurting, particularly live performance because there literally isn't any. How is the theater weathering the storm and what can people do if they want to get involved or donate or help or whatever? Uh, well, we are like everywhere, uh, you know, missing the actual space uh, and, and the coming together of this community. Uh, um, you know, Antis is a small theater. There's a lot of small theaters, intimate theaters in Los Angeles. And um, uh, I think something that sometimes people outside of there you don't realize is how tight everybody is. And it really is a pretty, pretty tight community. So we, we miss that very much. Um, we have been doing uh, lots of uh, sort of, you know, Zoom calls and things with, with donors and audience members. And I host a, uh, a weekly, you know, Zoom chat with our company members just so we could all sort of stay together. Um, but we're hoping that this is the kind of thing that, that uh, audio plays or thing that people will partake together. And we're also going to be setting up some kind of uh, tours people can do so you can actually go to the places that they're mentioned in the zip code plays. Um, and until that time, then we can all come together again. Uh, we, are, we are just looking for ways to connect in every in every angle, um, yeah. there's a weekly there's a weekly meeting of uh, artistic directors from all around Los Angeles uh, that meet every every week also to kind of share information about well all kinds of things you know but trying to get ready for any kind of reopening it's just at this point you know with the numbers uh, uh, of, of of the COVID continuing to rise and everything we just don't have any idea when that will actually happen. Yeah. I feel like most people don't actually realize how big and prosperous the theater scene in Los Angeles is. I think everybody, I think, and I certainly had this vision before I started going out to Los Angeles regularly, because uh, I have family in Pasadena. And, you know, my vision of the theater scene in Los Angeles is like the music center, it's the Mark Tape Forum and all that. Right, right, right. I started really exploring, and I never realized how. You know, I don't want to call it like the storefront theater scene, like in Chicago, but it's that sort of thing. It's a very tight community yeah. of cool small spaces that you don't really think about. Do you know? I think I think what happened originally, you know, there were a couple of big places like the like you know the Center Theater Group and the Amundsen, and then a lot of kind of what I think people derided as sort of showcase theater. A lot of actors out here who wanted to you know get an agent or get a TV series right. or something. Um, that's changed a lot. That's a very old kind of stereotype. There are now a lot of established theaters. Um, most are small, like under 99 seats. Uh, that's how they were built. And I I've come to love that kind of theater because you get to sit very close and you get to see the actors sweat. You know, you see you see everything. 
And I, I actually love that kind of theater. Um, and it is a very, a very tight group out from the artist side and the audiences continue to grow. And, you know, we're looking to expand our, our, our reach at Antias because we're a classical theater company. So we spend most of our time doing, you know, Shakespeare and Chekhov and Shaw and doing lots of plays about, you know, that are set in London and Russian townhouses and things. And, uh, from Russian country estates, you know, and, and so now to be able to do a thing about Los Angeles, to, to do a thing about our history here is something that we, we haven't been able to do as much of as we would like. And so so this is a, a way to kind of push out that thing and say, what what is a classical theater? What does that mean? Yeah. So uh, tell us where we can find them. So it's on your website, antaeus.org, A-N-T-A-E-U-S. It is. It, it is. And we're also, if you look up zipcodeplays.info, zipcodeplays.info. Uh, that will take you there. But it's also there are bits available on Spotify and Apple and any place that you get uh, podcasts. And um, there are six of them. We release them all as a, as a in a group. Um, so they don't really go in any order, but we kind of put them in an order. But you can listen to them any way you want. And um, uh, and, they're, and they're free. So uh, um, we're always happy to accept donations. But this is really a... Uh, we're always happy to accept... Hello, we're a nonprofit. We're always happy to accept donations. But... Um, this is really a way to, to reach people both here and in other states and other cities and other countries that uh, 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 that we may not always get to see. And, and our community, you know, is bigger than, than you think. We have a lot of actors from NTS who now live in New York. And, um, this is a good way to stay in touch with them as well. So, uh, yeah, it's a way to reach out to people. Yeah. Bill, thank you for your time. Oh, thank you so much. My pleasure. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Be well.